Welcome back to another episode of 904 Fishing. Today we're out of Fort George Inlet and we're doing a catch and cook right on the side of the rock. So we're gonna dig in. See you guys out there. I'm gonna get my bottom rig set up first. I'm gonna put a mud minnow on this one. We've got live shrimp and mud minnows. So Oh, the water's like super clear. The water's like super clear. Okay, so Kimbra just lost something, which is the first bite, good bite we've had all day. And she was cast right over here off this end pile on here. So we're gonna steal her spot. Uh, rude. And then, and then we're gonna help her get rebated. You got it? Oh shit. What? We got something. I got something. I got something. It's a nice waiting. A nice waiting. And I got to keep my bait, which is pretty sick. Nice little whiting there. Uh, might even keep him. Not a huge whiting, but a whiting nonetheless. So, Kimber and I are still fishing over here with some shrimp. So, Hopefully we'll be able to hook up into something. We're having Triscuits in the sun, apparently now. That whiting is going to be tacos, so... This is like the appetizer, really. I have goosebumps. You have goosebumps? It's really cold under the bridge when there's no sun. Kimber's getting hungry, so we're going to... Make lunch real quick. I'm heading to the car to get the stuff that we need for that. And then we're gonna be making lunch. That dude reminds me of me five years ago. Bucket, couple rods, cooler. That's me to a T a couple years ago. It's crazy. Now we're doing catching cooks on the side of the same rocks. <laughs> Let's go make some lunch. Oh, I forgot the pants. Forgot the pants. Forgot the pants. I completely forgot. I bought a chair not too long ago for exactly these purposes. Dude, I have no idea how this is supposed to sit on this. Yeah. Like that, maybe? There we go. It's supposed to be down low on the ground. Yeah. It's even got a pillow. Ergonomic. Now put it in the sun. Big boy. So we got this sticker from Browns Creek Fish Camp. So we're gonna put it on our camp box here. If I can figure out how to get it off. There we Aw, yeah. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna get to cooking. On our camp stove. because I forgot the cast iron at home. Okay, 
gotta get our ingredients real quick. Shrimp, avocado, and lime tacos, apparently. And we forgot the mango. I asked you if we had the mango. Lovely, lovely little shrimp there. We're gonna get everything else cut up and then we're gonna have some tacos. Now we've got our other pan here. This is for the tortillas. And we've got our limes too. I'm gonna cut up here. Nice, okay, that one's much better toasted because mine is a little well done. That was an absolutely delicious lunch slash dinner slash whatever. We're gonna pack it up, head home, and then I'm gonna show you guys the new water system that I built. Well, it is now two days later uh, because I was lazy and didn't clean out the car, or the you know coolers or anything. So we've now got our water system all hooked up. We've got it all in the back of the uh, car there. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick how this actually works. So I've got my nozzle attachment here, you know, spray water. Um, I've got this pump, I got it off of Amazon. Uh, I want to say it was like 20 bucks, 20, 25 bucks, something like that. And then I've just got that hooked up into my EcoFlow power source. Uh, not sponsored, but EcoFlow hit me up. Um, anyways, uh, EcoFlow portable power there. I've just got it plugged into the carport, which I do have the option to plug it into the carport here, but I actually get more power off of that. So that's why I run it like that. And then I've just got this hooked to a seven gallon water drum. You can see the water hose there. I'm probably gonna mount this because you guys see it has like mounting spots on it. I'm probably gonna mount this either right here or somewhere else or I don't know. I'm not really sure yet. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below where I should mount that. But I'm gonna show you guys how I can clean it, how I can do everything and uh, how I don't have to make a mess when you don't, because I don't have the option. I don't have a hose at my current apartment. So this is an alternative to if you don't have a hose at your current apartment. Got cool here. This is what I store the, uh, the water pump and everything in when I'm not using it. But let's go ahead. As you can see, the car is still in, just an absolute wreck. But let's go ahead and oh, get this out of here. And uh, I have not messed with this since we were fishing. Today is Thursday. We went fishing Monday. I'm sorry, today is Wednesday. We went fishing Monday. So we're going to drain all the water out of there and we'll go from there. All right, we got all the water and stuff cleaned out of it, or drained, 
drained out of it, good lord. Um, so now I've got like my pots and pans, is like you guys can see, like still dirty. So we're gonna use this system and clean everything else, clean everything out outside. I just picked up some rags from the dollar store to help me kind of clean this stuff out. Um, it's not a permanent, you know, solution long term, but it works for what I need it to do and it helps clean stuff, uh, especially rinse all my rods and reels and whatnot after I, um, you know, go fishing and I don't really have the option. Like I said, I don't have a hose at my current place, so I had to come up with something. So, you know, overall, it's pretty good. I think it's helping quite a bit. Like I said, I just got these rags at the dollar store, so. All right, nice, nice and clean. So I'll clean everything else and then we'll do the wrap up. All right, and then we'll leave this out to dry. That will do it for today's episode of 904 Fishing. I'm sure you guys have noticed I've been doing these daily vlogs, which I'm still gonna do, but I'm just gonna move them to an unlisted playlist. So you have to click on the link that will be down in the description below to watch all of those. I'll be uploading those every day. If you guys wanna watch it, go ahead. But I will be doing it unlisted so that I'm not blowing up everyone's notifications. Unless you guys want me to and you want me to just keep uploading them like normal, you guys let me know. But my uploading schedule has not changed. I will do a short every day and then I'll do a fishing video every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. So keep an eye out for that. Till next time, see you guys out there.